This is Lynn, and sometimes in my dreams. This is Justin, doing backup. Sometimes in my dreams. Sometimes in my dreams. Grief turns to joy. Grief turns to joy. When I smell the blood red roses. When I smell the blood red roses. You left on the table. You left on the table. The weight lifts from my shoulders. The weight lifts from my shoulders. As we twirl and weave. As we twirl and weave. The branches. The branches. Into a wreath. Into a wreath. This is Lynn, and sometimes in my dreams. This is John, and sometimes in my dreams, back up. Sometimes in my dreams. Sometimes in my dreams. It is Christmas. It is Christmas. And angels are flying around the room. And angels are flying around the room. You call me an angel and smile. You call me an angel and smile. Or is the room spinning around the angels? the room spinning around the angels. No, around you. No, around you. The walls are disappearing. The walls are disappearing. As I touch your face. As I touch your face. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. This is Lynn, sometimes in my dreams. This is Justin, doing backup. Sometimes in my dreams. Sometimes in my dreams. I kiss you. I kiss you. Remember when you had me against the wall? Remember <laughs> when you had me against the wall? And I saw your face. And I saw your face. Afraid no. Afraid no. Afraid now. Afraid now. I want to touch you. I want to touch you. Sometimes in my dreams. Sometimes in my dreams. I touch you again and again. I touch you again and again. No room here for an angel. No room here for an angel. None at all. <laughs> None at all. Okay, whenever you're ready. This is Lynn, and sometimes in my dreams. This is Justin doing backup. Sometimes in my dreams. Sometimes in my dreams. I listen for you down in the cellar. I listen for you down in the cellar. I hear you coming up the stairs. I hear you coming up the stairs. I wait for you. I wait for you. But you never arrive. But you never arrive. An angel An tells angel me. Tells me. To look, to look in the mirror. To look, look in the mirror. What do you see? What do you see? Only me alone. Only me alone. I look sad. I look sad. She says that you are peaceful now. She says that you are peaceful now. With only one request. With only one. With only one regret. One regret. That we never said goodbye. That we never said goodbye. 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 Show me the way. This is Lynn, and sometimes in my dreams. This is Justin doing backup. Sometimes in my dreams. Sometimes in my dreams. I remember how slow they were. I remember how slow they were. And I feel so mad. And I feel so mad. So sad. So sad. I want to scream. I want to scream. My tears are mad. My tears are mad. A shadow covers you. A shadow covers you. Love. Love. Are you a ghost forever? Are you a ghost forever? Oh, I should have cried fire. I should have cried fire. I should have. I should have.
Hello, I'm Justin Spring of Soul Speak, and I want to welcome you to our healing DVD for grief support and recovery. We've done a great deal of work with people in grief, whether they're very young children, whether they're grieving the loss of a parent through divorce or death, or of course the, the more normal situation is when we have a member of the family die, a uh, mother or father, grandmother or grandfather, or also in cases where a child dies so unexpectedly at an early age. When a beloved pet, a dog or a cat dies, they're all causes of grief, sadness. Someone who was with us is no longer with us and it's final. It's the door that once it closes never opens again. We can only speak to those who have you know, left us through poetry, I think. We can speak to them in our everyday thoughts. We're thinking of them. You know, often we have a picture or a piece of jewelry or something that they liked we always carry with us. It's just a little piece of them that we have. And it always brings back thoughts of those who have left us. And those are wonderful things in their own right, that we have those things to keep. But there are also times where the emotions that are associated with death, they can be very varied. They can be anger. They can be remorse, loss, love unexpressed, all of those things that we wanted to do or that we did and we never apologized for. Suddenly we're just cut short, death comes, announces itself, and all of our opportunities are lost. There are many ways that we can hope to overcome that. Those little mementos are one way to think and to talk to those who have left us. We can take long walks, we can do meditation, we can do listening to music, let those emotions come up, memories. But at some stage, for grieving to finally come to an end or to lose some of its sting, we have to actually honor the dead by speaking to them or speaking of them. It's really the same thing, isn't it? Nothing really does that like poetry. But unfortunately, that the poetry that we know today is very complex, it's written, it's private. Some people know how to do it. Some people don't know how to do it. Some people don't even want to learn how to do it. It's the oldest art that we have. It's the mother of all the arts. And it's not only that, it's a human art. And what soul speak is, it's the very earliest form of poetry known to man. It's something that we started to do when we turned from animal to man. No one knows how that happened. It's a mystery. There's lots of explanations about it. But at some stage, we became human. And when we became human, we started to do this poetry. There's nobody here to teach it to us. No schools. We just started to do it. So soul speak is within us, just like prayer is within us, our ability to tell jokes, or our gossip that goes on. We never think about it for a moment. The stories pour out of us as jokes or gossip, or sometimes in our private moments as prayer. Poetry can also pour right from our lips. If we surrender to it, that form is within us. And that's what this DVD is about. It's about being able to access that poetry, which is the way the soul speaks to us and through us, so that we can honor the dead. We can touch them on a level that our ordinary conversation can't, that our walks through the woods can't, that our listening to music can't, and that our mementos can't. Honoring the dead is important. It was done in ancient cultures. No one died without being honored others speaking for the dead. You have to do that too, I think. Everybody has to do it at some stage. I do it almost every day of my life for my parents who have died. That's because I know how to do soul speak. It's very easy. It comes up all of the time whenever I do poems with people. Sooner or later, one of those poems comes out. 
is another part of sadness or something that I should have done or something that I wanted to do or just a remembrance of love I want to express. Every time we do, we honor the dead. It's an old sentiment, honor. We are very quick fix in society. We want to quick fix death, move away from it, get on with our business, but we can't. The conscious self can attempt to do that, but the deeper self, the emotional self, the unconscious, the soul, whatever you want to call it, that part of us that falls in love, we have no control over. That's the part that's grieving. And it takes its own pace. We can't hurry it. And we have to honor that part of us that wants to honor the dying, the dead. We have to be able to do that. We have to be able to speak from our deepest self to those who have passed and for them. So that's what Soul Speak is all about. Soul Speak is a way of just allowing you and the members of your family, sons or daughters or wives or mothers, whatever it happens to be, to join together to raise your voices and to speak for the dead, to express all of your emotions. That's important. And when you do that, poetry always rises to the light, and soul speak especially, since it has no interference from the conscious mind. It just comes out to you. So that's what this healing DVD is going to be all about. It's something that, that in fact may make you cry. Indeed, it should. Sadness wants to cry. Grief wants to cry. The body wants to relieve itself of that sadness, wants to move towards the light. You'll feel better. You always feel better after a cry. The cry can come from love or it can come from remorse, something you should have said and you didn't. Let it come. Soul speak comes from a deep source. It's beautiful. It moves towards the light, but it's not a safe activity, meaning to say that it's going to touch you the way it should touch you, the way that you would like to be touched after you've passed away, to have other people honor you. So let me say that as far as the DVD goes, it's into four sections. This is just a brief introduction to you so you'll get a little bit of our thinking. And Soul Speak is about the soul. It's about the deepest part of us and how we can allow it to help us to grieve. And once we complete that cycle, then grief sting is removed down one notch. We're more complete. We're more comforted with the absence of a loved one. And it's something we can go back to again and again for the remainder of our lives whenever we need to say something else in honor of the dead, in honor of our loved ones. So this section then is divided, this the DVD is divided into you know, four sections. You can see them on the bottom of your screen there. There's learning by imitating, which is the very first section after this one that you'll listen to. And, that, and you're going to learn soul speak by just doing it with me. That's how it was learned hundreds of thousands of years ago, and you'll learn it the same way. This is a non-brain activity. If you want to, no conscious learning is required. No lessons are required. Nothing to write down. You simply have to do it the same way that you learn how to ride a bicycle. You just get on it, and you watch somebody do it. You see them. You imitate them, and then eventually you're riding a bicycle. That's the same with soul speak. So that's the first section. The, the second section is called Music and Words. You can see that they are on the bottom of your screen. That's a section that contains words that will help the Soul Speak poem to emerge from your deeper self. We'll say more about that later. And this music. Soul Speak is always done to music. It's the way this ancient poetry was done, and it's, in fact, it's the way that you'll do it. It helps you to release the emotions that have to be released to turn them into words. And the very last section is called words, which are many, many, many words, or sets of words, which you'll see in a second, can be used to help you speak from the bottom of your heart and your soul to those who have left.